All right, welcome to SHP Industry Scripts. Today we have a commercial insurance script that we performed for just about a year before this company went in-house. Uh, actually, over a year. We did 29 campaigns, 29 different months for this client. Uh, so a lot of really good data to share on how cold calling specifically has worked in the 21st century with superhuman cold callers. This specific client has assurance, insurance for the trucking industry, for trucking and fleet. Uh, this campaign case study was for one of the, the best performing campaign we did. And I'll share the results of uh, all of the 29, but I wanted to just focus on this first, this best performer. So this company provides insurance to trucking fleet companies but they also offer something unique that really helped the results go over the edge, which was they provided consulting and service around safety practices, which then helped the premiums reduce with that safety consulting. I thought that was a great secondary offer, which actually made a bigger impact than just offering good insurance. So, the target for this industry were owners or safety directors of small to mid-sized trucking companies throughout the Midwest states. So really interesting market because many of these we found these owners would still be driving trucks. Same thing with the safety directors. So a lot of times we would reach these folks on the phone uh, while they were driving, so on their mobile phone which really made for interesting conversation and really tweaked our strategy as we went. Realize that's a hard situation. So the, the goal of the call was to introduce the company, uh, address kind of some of the pain points and, and go for an ask. Now, the ask was just a 15 minute web, uh, 15 minute call or web conference. You know, so it was a simple introductory meeting that we were going for, but it was a specific date and time. Now, the reason why it was interesting that we were we, we uh, had a situation where these prospects were on the road is because we had to change our strategy in our script. So we went with an H to H no bull script format. And this format has to do with a little heavier value proposition at the beginning and then an ask right away. Why is that? It's because these folks didn't have much time or they were on the road, which made it additionally challenging. But if we were able to have that conversation and pack that value in and get that ask, many times we were able to set it. So we would be able to get that meeting set and then send them an invite so that they wouldn't have to that would go onto their calendar. So again, the goal was to set a meeting up with an owner or a safety director. Now, not all of them were, were driving truck while we were calling, but it really made for that type of situation where these folks were on the go and didn't have time or Typically, this type of persona doesn't go through a really long consultative conversation. The results were fantastic. Now, again, this is our best performing campaign. I'm going to share with you how we did over 29 campaigns with this client. We had a 5% appointment setting. That is the glaring number that is, is just, it's actually glistening. It's not, it's not glaring, it's glistening because we had gotten an appointment one out of every 20 raw dials. So how do we get there? Well, we had a decision maker connect rate. The data was really good. We were either calling mobile numbers or getting right to these small to mid-size uh, stakeholders. And that allowed us to have a 15% uh, decision maker connect rate. So let me just, I don't, what is that number? 100 divided by 15, okay. So one in every six and a half calls, we got one of these folks on the phone and 32% and of those. So. So every three conversations, we, we turn into an appointment, right? So you say six times three, it's about 20 or so, you know, given some decimals in there. That's how this worked out to have such a high appointment setting rate. Now, again, this was our best performer. So over 29 campaigns, we made over 50,000 calls and had a 2.45%. Our average uh, in this market, or just average overall for calling, was a 1.25%. So over 30 industries that we studied, we had a 1.25 with an 8% DM connect rate. 
So you can see the difference here with a 5% appointment setting rate from a 15% DM connect rate. So it's absolutely outstanding. And the overall uh, was a 12% from 29 campaigns, 12% DM connect and a 2.45 appointment setting rate. So just consistently able to generate leads and appointments over 29 campaigns. And this is the type of thing we're looking for, right? Like th there are ups and downs in cold calling. You know, we say it's gonna take one month, six months or more for it to work, right? But once we get into a rhythm, you know, we might be high, like our standard is here, and we'll go back and forth as we go through different markets, as we engage different types of people. Uh, but you can see that the averages is really what it's about because that's how you see the long-term sustainability of cold calling. We hope this helped. If you are in the commercial insurance space, we're happy to chat with you more about your product, your service specifically to see if this is something that could work or at least we could help point you in the right direction. Thanks for joining. See you next time.